I've been trying to holler at you. What's up? Well, please, you know you like my play cousin. But I'm saying, I'm on right now. What's up, though? <laughs> oh, it's not gonna happen. Huh? No. Oh, uh, man, I grew up. What's going on? Uh, I'm not even trying to hear you. I don't think so. Oh, man, come on. You know I need to get that with you, you know what I'm saying? They say that once a dog gets a taste of blood in his mouth, it's never the same. He'll always want to taste it again and again. Some people are just like dogs. They feed for that moment. They can taste it. Just one more time. Oh. Damn it, I'm late again. Have you ever been on time? Yeah, once. I forgot it was daylight savings. Well, that explains it. You want coffee? Yeah, thanks. Baby, I haven't helped myself at all in this situation. I've been screwing up big time with the cabin. He's been on my ass lately. Well, you're just making it easier for him. Yeah, tell me about it. Sweetie, I have a list of things I need for you to do today. You gotta be kidding me, Nikki. I got so much shit to do already. No, I'm not. And I need you to do it, and do it the way I want you to, or I'll bug you until you get it done. All right, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> shit, it's Rita. Rita? Why can't you be professional and call her Detective Backache? Oh, God. Huh? Why? Why do you have to start this shit with me again? What do you mean, don't start again? Why is she calling you? Why does she constantly call me? Is she your partner or your lover? Because last I checked, you were sleeping with me. Why do you constantly do this shit every fucking morning? Over and over. God, don't I have enough stress as it is? God damn, Nikki. Listen to me. You are still a married man. And I don't care what's going on. Don't make me kill you and that bitch. Relax. Yeah. You're not in the courtroom yet. You know, my mom told me never to marry a lawyer. And? I never listened to anybody. You're right. You never listened Just to anybody. Just drop it, okay? No, I'm not. Okay? Dropped. It's dropped. But when I cut off your penis and flush it down the toilet, don't say I didn't warn you. Nikki, you're fucking crazy. No, I'm not crazy. Anyway, what time is it? You're late. Give me a kiss. Bye. Man, I tell you, can't no poor boy sandwich even come close to a shrimp poor boy from New Orleans. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I done been all over the whole wide world, you hear me? And nobody, nobody shrimp tastes like our shrimp down here. Here, taste that. Go ahead on, taste it. See? I told you. Most people can't even get the seasonings right. It's subtle. It's very subtle. Fuck. I was in Vietnam. People were shooting at me. People were dying all around me. You know the one thing that kept me going? The one thing that stayed on my mind was getting back to New Orleans to eat me a big old shrimp pool boy. Ain't that something? You are way too into food, Chief. Way too into food. Mm. Come on, it's time. Mm. You stay right there. Back in the Nam. They had coffee that tastes like it was made out of fox turds. Man, what I wouldn't have gave for some chicory back then. <laughs> hey, guys, settle down, settle down. <clears throat> the mayor's been getting a lot of flack over the recent killing. The freaking reporters are crawling all over the place. I don't want to see any of you on the eyewitness news spilling your guts and throwing more gas on the fire, so refer everything to the public information officer. Chief. The mayor's office has asked for assistance from the FBI. <laughs> this is Special Agent Crockett and Manning. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. 
Calm down, calm down. My name is Special Agent Crockett. This is Special Agent Manning and Special Agent Sachs. The federal government has been very interested in what's going on down here in New Orleans. We have been conducting our own investigation prior to the mayor's request for assistance. Myself and Manning have been reviewing your actions, and Special Agent Sachs has been our man on the street gathering intel. Question. So what are we supposed to do? We don't have enough manpower as it is, even if we do know where the next move is going down. Lower agency, along with the mayor's office, is attempting to address this. Mm. So let me guess. You and your guys are going to come in and take over. Consider an NOPD has dropped the ball on this one. Hey, hey, Looks hey, like we'll take over. Back down, back down, both of you. Sit down. Jesus, sit down. Bullshit. Sit down. This meeting is about getting information to you guys out on the streets. To keep you in the loop, this is for your own safety. So considering we'll be around for a while, I suggest you stay out of my way. Gee, Gee do this every time. I don't, I don't want to do this, huh? Okay, we'll sit this tag just like always. Okay, don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. Man, so what do you think happened at the meeting? I don't know, but it's got to be big if the feds are involved. No kidding. Hold on a sec. Too long. Yeah. What's the location? Got it. Rita, we gotta go. What do we got? Take a guess. Homicide. Hey, Sachs, hey, what's the deal? You guys taking over? Well, the man is entourage is gonna talk to you about that. not going to go over well. This guy was high up. One of Carmelo's boys. Excuse me, detective. Anonymous 911 call came in. Supporting the shooter. And let me guess. No one saw anything. Excuse me, detective. Is there anything else you'd like me to take pictures of? Yeah. Shoot the crowd, please. Look at them. They're just kids. There's a dead body right in front of them, and it's like nothing ever happened. Another day in the hood. All right, people, I'm Detective Bathgate. I need to know if anyone saw anything, anything at all. A suspicious person or car, anything. We ain't seen nothing. All right, well, if anyone did see anything, please speak up. We need all the information we can get here. We gotta catch this guy. Yeah, right. I ain't telling you nothing. You don't have to be scared. We're here to protect you. Here's my car. If you remember anything, call me. Anything at all. Hey, Billy Blue, wait up. What? Now what? Now what? What you got on you? Ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing. You know the drill. You can do it the easy way or the hard way. Yo, man, Your I choice. Ain't got I ain't got shit. What was that over there? That Tonks move? Man, I'm just a little hustling for him, man. For lunch money, man. All I'm at Tonk once in my life, playing ball, and that's it. I could kill you right now. You tell me. Uh, all right. All I know is something's supposed to hit the streets on the first place. That's, that's bullshit, dude. There's a dead body over there. All right. All right. Pee-wee. Pee-wee made the hit. Oh, Pee-wee made the hit. All right. Good job, asshole. Get the fuck out of here. Let's go get Pee-wee. Officer, you hear anything? Call me. Lock it down. Sit tight. <laughs> you have no idea, nigga. Fans think they're gonna snatch me up dead wrong, you hear me? I'm about to flip this dope money to rap money, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> Go talk outside.
I'll let your boy be with you. Shit, nothing all about it. It's done. I'm saying anything about a soldier? Yeah, chick, but I think she know better. And you let this chick walk away? What you getting, sloppy on me, Pee Wee? Man, relax, man. Shit ain't gonna come back. Trust me, nobody else was out there. Nigga, I usually give you a hundred, I'm gonna give you 50 for on this sloppy work. Nigga, what you think, though? Who at war right now with these niggas, man? And you gonna give me sloppy work like that? What you trying to get us caught? Man, you want me to go get the chick? What you think, nigga? She done out there running them out right now, Pee Wee. Give me two days, I'm gonna have Two days, nigga, go get that bra right now. Man, I'm gonna have Go it. get her right now, Pee Wee. Man, fuck. Marty must turn you on, huh? Of course. Too bad it's mine. Damn, nigga. What the fuck you doing busting up in here like that? I almost shot you. Could have had my dick hanging out or something. Man, why you around here worrying about your dick, man? Some of us got to work, nigga. Fuck all that, man. I got to holler at you, man. We got a problem, for real. Hold on. Fuck is he now? Man, niggas hit us again. This morning, bruh, up on Chopper Tools. Nigga shot Slinky like two times in his chest, man. This nigga dead, man. Y'all nah, in his mom? I mean, I tried, man, you know. She had she dealing straight with the cops, though, dog. Talking about she don't want us to hurt her son no more. Fuck, man. Man, fuck that money, man. We losing people out here in these streets, man. You around here fucking with these hoes, bruh. You gotta get your mind on the business, nigga. You know who did it? Nah, I don't know yet, man. Since I'm talking about, nigga. You gotta keep your ear to the streets. When I find out who did this shit, I'm gonna start torturing motherfuckers. Burn the motherfuckers alive and shit. Ooh. Check yourself talk, man. That's a rational thinking, my nigga. You feel me? Who come at me with this Dr. Phil self-help shit, nigga? We in the streets! Man, you gotta sharpen the saw, man. You gotta change your state and get balanced, baby. That's the only way you're gonna make the right decision, man. Think about it, dog. At the end of the day, this is a business. Like any other business, we gotta make profit. Paying for funerals, losing territory, that ain't profit. It's not. On top of that, if the Dominican finds out we ain't even trying to make peace, he gonna cut our fucking supply. Then what? Then we're gonna be in a drop. You understand? Then people gonna really start getting killed around here, man. I'm starting to think you ain't built for this shit. <laughs> hey, you the boss, man. You the boss, babe. I said what I had to say, man. Just remember who took that fucking bullet in the back for you, nigga. Now you gonna throw this shit in my face again? Yeah. And all the shit I did for your sorry ass. Yes, man. Yeah. You need to find out who did this. Alright. You want some pink lemonade? What's up, man? Let me get a pink lemonade for her. What's happening, nigga? Now listen to me, girl. I want you to be careful, okay? I don't want you to get none of this on your shirt, alright? Man, I can't find that bitch nowhere, Tom. I've been looking for all fucking night. Man, you see my baby standing right here? Man, watch your mouth, nigga. Yo, my bad. Baby, listen, be careful, all right? I don't want you to get this on your shirt. I don't want you to be fussing with your mama tonight, all right? See my baby Pee Wee? Love her to death, dog. I mean, I can't believe she's growing this fast. Her mama can't keep up with her, you heard me? She the reason I'm staying in these streets hustling, dog. That's real. And no matter what, she gonna always be able to count on daddy. You know what I'm talking about? No, that's right. All right. Pee Wee, we have been friends since the fourth grade, baby. I feel like I can trust you. But right now, you dropping the ball, dawg. Come on, Tom. After all that stuff I did for you, after all the stuff you done for me, nigga, you got 24 hours to go find that bra. Understand? Or me and you gonna have problems. Why I gotta be like that, Tom? Why I gotta be like that? Baby, baby, daddy wants you to go stand right over there. Go ahead now. Why I gotta be like that? 
Nigga, you ain't just messing up your own life. You jeopardizing mine and jeopardizing hers. I can't let you do that. You got 24 hours, Pee Wee, to get to that bra's house and handle your business. Or we got problems. You got me? I got you. Y'all need to watch this nigga, man. Good to see you, Mr. Mayor. Councilman. Councilman. A little early for lunch, huh, Chief? Never too early when your stomach tells you it's time. Oh, it's so goddamn important that a man can't finish his shrimp for a boy sandwich. Well, Chief, I'm sure you are aware that as an assistant U.S. attorney, my responsibility is first and foremost the U.S. government, correct? These Creole tomatoes are so fresh. You want a piece? Listen, Nixon, I don't like to keep my interaction with you down to one minute. I'll tell it to you straight. I've already had this discussion with Mayor Pedial. The killings are making the news. All of the national outlets are now doing stories. This has got to stop. I'm getting pressure from the U.S. attorney who's getting his ass chewed out by the congressman that put him there, who's getting his ass chewed out by the businesses that put him there. This isn't good. Chief, this isn't good for you. Shit flows downhill, and you're standing in a ditch. <clears throat> Chief, we've had this discussion. This city is on pace to be the murder capital of the United States. That means tourists won't come here because they're scared. And that means no revenue. You see that in all these things? It's got to be Zatarans. You know I can taste the difference. Well, the real ongoing issue here is the drug wars. Um, you know, these two guys are responsible for 80% of all the killings that happen in Wall's metropolitan area. On the left is Carmelo Williams. On the right is Richard Tunk Anderson. You know, the Mexicans, the Russians, they're bringing the stuff in here. These are the guys that are bringing it to the ghetto. These are the guys that are distributing it all out. But they also have a supplier. His name's Richard Tobias, or a.k.a. the Dominican. Now, this guy's a heavyweight in South America, and I believe he's supplying both of them. But he's also got an unknown source that he gets it from. Oh. They call him the dog. Um, we have nothing on him, no pictures, no info. No, nothing. This guy's making $10 million a month right under our damn noses. Unbelievable. Well, the real deal is the killings between these two guys. It's about drug money and turf. Y'all want some of these fries? Look, y'all had Tunk in on murder rap. Because some old botched police work. Y'all screwed up and let him slip. The feds won't let him slip. What happened? <laughs> Witnesses disappeared. Look, it happens sometimes. You DEA punks wouldn't have done any better. You can go to hell. The feds are coming in. We're going to clean it up. Don't worry about it. Look, I've already spent two extra minutes on this. Mayor Pedio, you give me some more men on the streets. Special Agent Sachs, you work with your little friends and you get me a conviction. Not a parking ticket. I want a felony conviction. I'm going to ride Tunk and Carmelo's asses all the way to the judge's seat. A few gentlemen will excuse me. I have real work to do. This department's a joke. Well, y'all are a goddamn joke. We are doing our best to save you lives. Say, get me some tips from the vending machine. Mr. Mayor, with all due respect, you, your team's like a, the bad news bears. We need to put a stop to this in the city. It's hurting tourism. It's hurting businesses. You need to put a stop to it. If you're not, I will. And I'll do it the Irish way. Your dad ran this city real good. And you ain't nothing. Not like your daddy. God rest his soul. Get out of my face. Come on, let's go. You think I like sitting there looking like a fool? Huh? Will you bring these two men in with a solid case against them? This killing stops now. Just three days ago, university researchers, in cooperation with law enforcement, fired weapons with blanks. In fact, researchers fired a total of 700 rounds in a seven-square-mile area dubbed by law enforcement the hot zone. Amazingly, there were no calls to 911 reporting shots fired or any other incidents. New Orleans residents are reluctant to come forward as witnesses fearing retaliation. And experts say that is one of several reasons why homicides are on the rise in the Big Easy at a time when other cities are seeing their murder rates plummet at levels not seen in decades. I'm here with a New Orleans resident. How do you feel about those murders? Well, my heart goes out to the police officers. They're, they're fighting public apathy. 
right shoulder vision and this dysfunctional cord system, they work their hearts out and nothing ever happens. No one goes to jail for murder. In fact, one out of four people arrested in this city for murder are eventually convicted. That number may come as a shock to many, but events of the past month have opened the eyes of many locals. Residents in this city are even calling this rash of recent homicides the Bloody May murders. Reporting for Channel 13, I'm Jennifer Fowler on The Beat. You gonna answer that? I don't feel like ruining my day already. You like a job, huh? Mm. Mm hmm. Hmm? The job? Especially the job, though. So why you do it? This is my neighborhood. I grew up here. I remember when I was little, all I ever wanted was some Dr. J sneakers. Remember that shit? No. I can remember plain as day. I wanted some Dr. J sneakers so bad. I mean, Dr. J, that was the man back then. Forty dollars. That was a lot of money for a pair of sneakers. And you know, my mom, she had four kids and all. So uh, I went up to Seoul. He was Oscar Gale's right-hand man. Oscar Gale was the biggest drug dealer in the hood at the time. I asked him. I asked him if I could sell some weed for him. He brought me over to Oscar Gale. Now, this brother was smooth. He was decked out in the finest gear from head to toe. He was a man. There was no question. He told me that he had seen me playing ball. He said I was pretty good. He told me under no circumstances was I to sell drugs. He told me that I had a way out of here, and that was sports. He said for every touchdown I made in the upcoming season, he would give me $10. Then get this. He pops the trunk, hands me a fresh, brand new pair of Dr. J sneakers. <sighs> that was a great day. And uh, I guess that's why I stuck around. Robin. We're all the way. State championship. Hmm. <laughs> you still got the sneakers? Yeah, I still got them. They were by my mom's house. <laughs> what happened to Oscar Gale? Oh, boy died less than 10 years later. He was 34. Hmm. Hey, there's our boy Pee Wee. See where he's going. Girl, you do not want to get caught up in that. Trink didn't do nothing. Maybe not right then. But he done something though. Slinky is with that boy Carmelo, and they both crazy. Carmelo isn't that bad. Plus, he wants to help me. He's kind of cute. Mary! It don't take a genius to figure out why we do this shit. It ain't the money. It ain't the bitches. It's the rush. The life. The feeling you get when you look death in the face every day and laugh. The feeling you get when you can look at death and say, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Motherfucker, come with it. In the meantime, we're going to eat on the streets. Light your blunts up. Get that interstate. It's how we ride. It's how we ride. It's how we ride. This little Kelly, yeah, this is how I ride. Going front and back and side to side. I'll be coming when I'm coming through. Dime on the side of me, a nine in a ride with me. Feel like I hit the lottery. Sipping on that purple shit, gon' make me wanna murk a bitch. My 24 sitting tall and fuck a piece, I want it all. Holler when you see me, thug. I'm gangster, but I can't.
So you sure he looks like that? I will never forget his face. He sound like Pee Wee. Yeah, it does sound like his bitch ass. So let me get this straight. He walked up to Slinky, and then what happened? And then he just shot him in his chest. Look, we gonna get this shit straight. Mo, take her to the safe house on Canal Street. She be all right there. But wait, I, um, I have some things that I need to do. I need to go home. We better make it quick, baby. How many niggas we got here? Shit, we got the whole play, huh? Wow, man. What up? I know who killed Slinky. Who? Bitch ass nigga Pee Wee. So you know Tonk has something to do with that shit, man. What you won't do? You know what we gotta do. You see the paper, Chief? Another killing in the B.W. Cooper. The fuck is going on? I want some heads to fly. Do you understand me? Can't you see I'm trying to eat here? Look, asshole. Your one minute's almost up. I'm giving you ten extra DEA agents, you nitwits. I want at least ten cases on my desk in two weeks. We need convictions. Do you understand me? Asshole. Nitwit. Get out of my office so I can eat in peace. Little lady, you can't tell me how to run my department. Now you just carry your cute little ass on out of here before I get into gesture. Ten convictions, or I will make sure Mayor Pedio calls for your resignation. That's it. I can sure eat me some of that. Playtime's over, motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, well, shit. Driving some shit. Screw y'all motherfuckers. I'm some murder. Come and get me. I got my hand on my knife. You only live once. None of that little shit. So much for second chances, huh? Can I tell you something? If I see him out here again, I'll bust his ass. What, Nikki? Hey, you. That's the world's best husband. I'm just calling to check it out. Isn't that sweet? Oh, that's sweet. Goo, 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 goo. Are you with her? She's my partner, so the answer would be yeah. Well, you tell her I ain't no fool. You tell her just like that. You tell her quit playing on the phone. Relax, okay? <laughs> Relax. Who are you talking to? Is that Rita? Is that how you talk to her, all sweet and shit? Oh, no. Uh-uh. You have her clean your dirty drawers. I hate you. It's like crazy. She can't get past the fact that I work with a beautiful woman. <gasps> well, cool on. You know I'm not used to comments like that. Bullshit. You know what you look like. Man, I'm not a girly girl. What the hell is a girly girl? You know, a girly girl. I don't like girl stuff. I don't like dolls and shoe shopping. Freaking tea and shit. I like going to the shooting range, watching football. I just don't really like girl stuff. I don't like girl stuff. Well, you like men, don't you? What do you think? Well, that's girl shit. Why are you so concerned about whether or not I like men anyway? I'm just asking. Oh. Well. Strange question for a married man. What if I said I like both? Like I said, I'm just asking, but thank you for the mental picture. You're welcome. You sure you just want a mental picture? Quit playing. <laughs>
the cash. Uh -huh. like, what it is, we get money over here. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm coming. That's how I'm coming. I'm getting money, homie. So why you hate That's how I'm coming. I'm getting money, homie. So why you hate That's how I'm coming. I'm getting money, homie. So why you hate That's how I'm coming. I'm getting money, homie. Which one are you gonna take? The big fish. Pee wee. Man, shit, man. Yeah. 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 What's up, huh? What's on with you? Look who's in the big. Just got off the phone with Tunk, man. Slinky funeral down there today. Said one dollar handle that, man. Laying down. You got that, man. Everybody. All right, everybody. Can't even afford the gas to see you, dumbass. You want to kill each other? Fucking kill each other. I don't give a shit. You do me a favor. I don't give a fuck. Kill it. I don't look at it as the murder rates going up. It's the fucking community service. You're doing me a favor. You're doing the whole fucking world a favor. I'll give you the gun. Take this stupid son of a bitch in jail. You probably got dope on him. You probably got a warrant or some shit. Get the fuck out of here. God damn, I knew I should have drove. We would have lost it. Man, whatever. You have been driving with me back in the East right now. Females cannot drive. It's just a fact. A fact? According to who? Everybody. You just proved it here today, just now. I cannot believe you're a male chauvinist. It's just the truth. The truth. I can you put another truth if it slapped you in the face? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? You know what? I know, but I see how you look at me. You better believe in Nikki Caesar, too. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like I said, you don't know shit about the truth. I can't find a bitch nowhere, Tom. What we got, D? Yo, let me call you back, man. What we got, D? Man, fucking Dominican shortage again, man. All we got is a hundred key, bro. I thought we were supposed to get 150. Yeah, I know, I know, man. 
one. Man, they must be rationing that shit out, man. I don't understand this dude, man. I told that motherfucker I need 150. I'm gonna have to start sending somebody else to handle this shit. Oh, uh, what? What the fuck do you want from me, man? Why you keep trying to fuck over me, bro? Fuck is your problem, man? You my problem. You need to get your mind right. Focus. These damn self-help books ain't helping you none. Look. I'm only here to do what we all came to do. Get this paper, baby. I ain't even tripping off that petty ass personal shit you bring to the table. You need to get your shit together. I understand, man. I understand. I'm gonna go see the Dominican, all right? I'll go see the Dominican. You stay here. No, no, man. I can go. I always go. I've been doing this shit three years plus, nigga. You stay here. Oh, man. What the fuck, man? Why's you acting like this, man? I've been your fucking man since day one, bro. You got something to say, man? Say it, man. We at war right now. But we ain't got no time for fuck-ups. And you a fuck-up. You acting like I owe you something. You think I owe you something? No, man. It's cool. You're fucking right, it's cool. Yeah, I need to deal with this shit. This is Jennifer Fowler going in depth for our city, live on the beat. After the first attempt on his life, investigators say Damon Young probably was targeted because he was related to murder suspect Fred Wilson, and associates of Wilson's victim were bent on retaliation. After Young survived that shooting, he was approached on the street and warned not to testify. He moved his family out of Orleans Parish and started sleeping with a gun under his pillow. Young, 25, had gone back to his old neighborhood to What's help up, a cousin baby? get a tire. It was August 7th. Two days before he was to fly to Cincinnati, Ohio, to search for an apartment for his family, including his young daughter. He was found shot to death in front of a grocery store on St. Claude Avenue. He had tears in his eyes and a Hershey bar in his hand. Man, he just got a cat. What's up, fella? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up Tom? I'll let you be. What's up? I called you, bro, because uh, Pee Wee, I don't know what's wrong with it, but he's been slipping lately, you heard me? I seen it, I seen it coming. Uh, used to be my top head buster, bro, but lately, I don't know, bro, he just on some other stuff, you know what I'm talking about? Tom, man, if you need anything, bro, anything, I'm the man. I believe in you, dog. You got a future in this game. You know what I'm talking about? Now, let me tell you what I want you to do. You go on them on Front Street. I need them to die. I'm sorry about Slinky. Why are you saying you're sorry? You kill him? Don't play with me. That was my round. How you know Slinky anyway? We grew up together. Back then, he wasn't crazy, though. Crazy? You must don't understand what it's like when you got families depending on you to eat. Oh, I do understand what that pressure's like. That's why I became a nurse. Do you understand what it's like to have to go and tell somebody's family, their mother, their brother that they're dead? You a nurse? Yeah. Well, I ain't no doctor. But the type of business I'm in, you can't show no weakness. You're like a pack of hungry dogs. You understand me? Well, from what I understand, you got a lot of respect out there on them streets. You don't look like a weak man to me. You gotta make these fools respect you. They respect only what they fear. That's the name of the game. You can't have no heart in this business. No soul. That don't sound like business to me. I mean, it's just pure evil and cruelty. That guy who shot Slinky, he was an animal. He had no regard for human life or anything. That's the nature of the beast, baby. That's the law of the land out here. Kill or be killed. I wish you can get rid of that ignorance, man. You know what? I got to meet. 
I'm going to tell Mom to take you to the house. It's like filling a cup with water, but there's a hole at the bottom. It never ends. This shit never ends. I'll be fine. But I get through it. No, I'm taking the bad guys out the street by doing the right thing. About this right and wrong thing. Sometimes you have to do the wrong thing to do the right thing. What do you mean? Cats have been on this course how long? You never cut any corner? Never? That's his and I have. Let's just come to some kind of agreement. And we're here to take the bad guys off the street. Okay? Yeah. A ball, come on. Say, bitch! We've got to make our move. If we don't, it could be a long time before we get another break like this. Yeah, well, let's let it be known. Yeah. Councilman, I have Robert Bridges on line one. Robert Bridges. If you can get Bridges to back you on this one, you've got Uptown and the CBD locked up. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Mr. Bridges, how are you? Yes. Well, city councilman, I have plenty of experience in the issues of the city. Yes. Yes, I feel we need to work on my public image and I can make a great mayor. But he can't run the city. His daddy was a legend, but he has too many issues right now. Here we are over here trying to balance the budget, bring new businesses in, try to solve this crime issue. Yes, sir. Sir, if your organization will back me, I'll bring it home to you. I know I can. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Got it. Baby, don't keep me waiting, all right? I'm a busy man. I hate to wait. I would hate to keep the mayor waiting. Mm -hmm. I don't think you know what you're doing. No, no. It's so easy to see. Shit. This is fucking shit. Hello. Baby, I cannot talk right now. I'm on a stakeout. No, I don't know when I'm coming home. Christ, Nikki. Look, do not call me back. I'll call you. I love you. Goodbye. What the fuck is this? Is that Pee-wee? Please freeze! Thanks for seeing me. Any time, Papi. I'll make time for you. I got plenty of time for you. Got some motherfucking business to talk about. Carmelo, Carmelo. Always worried about fucking business. Business, you need to take a fucking break, man. How the fuck I'm supposed to be taking a break? My loads keep coming up short. Where is Damien? I like Damien. Damien's a smart kid, man. He bring me some good fucking balls. Why is he talking about Damien, dog? My loads is coming up short. Damien is a smart kid. And you are too fucking slow, and you need to pay more attention to fucking business. Don't pay this fucking move. He hit your fucking man. 
Did you have something to do with this? Dejalo. Dejalo. Sit your ass down, motherfucker. Sit your ass down. It's war between you two boys. You know what happens in war, Camarillo? People get killed. It's reality. War is an ugly motherfucking thing. I'm gonna tell it to you like this. Talk won't live to see the sun. You don't understand, man. Emotional is not a reason. You can't run your business with fucking emotions, man. Fed's gonna come get you after your ass. You're gonna get fucking killed. You're gonna be in six fucking feet. Meanwhile, it's bad blood. And dog don't like bad blood, man. It's gonna be some more fucking blood. Bitch, you're gonna come here disrespect me? I made you motherfucking rich. I need to cut your tongue out and sit in your fucking mother. Do what you gotta to run your fucking business. You need to stop this fucking war. Stop it now. Otherwise, I will. Motherfucker, I will. You good? Okay. Yeah, thanks. Jesus, are you even on the fucking force? See you, Cap. This is crazy. Oh, again? You're not going to answer it? Not this time. It's a tight as shit. It's a tight as shit. Oh, Lord, it's my baby. It's home. Hey, Ma. How are you doing? I miss you, son. Come on in here. I got some leftover catfish and rice. You hungry? All right, Ma. Nonsense, boy. You come on here and fix your plate of food. You gotta I'm eat. I'm away. Well, sit down. What's wrong? You know, wrong, Mom. Just come to see about you, that's all. You sure you're not hungry? Why? You don't have one of those fast tell a girl pregnant, do you? No, Mama. Just come make sure you're all right, that's all. Well, I've been fine. My back's been acting up. But you know you got a stubborn soul like your mama, and I'm not going to stop my gardening. I'm just going to wait on God to give me my healing. So I'm going to feel like God forgot about us. It's like you turn his back on us some days. Now you stop that. You stop that, son. God don't think like you and I. This life of ours is nothing but a vapor in time. God thinks about eternity. Don't nobody do wrong and it lasts long. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. You stay on your knees, Carmelo. Remember that. You right, Mom. I gotta go. I love you, son. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Don't be proud. You don't know the half. I gotta go. You just don't stay away six months next time to see your mom come, Melo. Love you, mom. You see that the worst thing a gangster can do is look at the blood in his hands. So once he does, he's never the same.
Once you look at the blood in your hands, the drill is gone, the hose are gone, it starts to set in. God is gonna make you pay for what you did. You know it. See alright? What about the girl, Mary? Is she alright? On my way. I got something I need you to handle for me anyway. As soon as I heard. Listen, Carmel, I can't stay here anymore. I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. I've been thinking. Maybe it's time for me to get out of here too. I went to go see my mama today. She started telling me some things about life like I ain't living. Carmel, if you stay here, nothing's gonna keep you safe. Ain't nothing gonna keep me safe if I stay here. I'll keep you safe. It's just a matter of time. Look what happened to Mo. Well, I do got some paper stashed. Maybe we could go to Chicago, California or something. Are you serious? What makes you think I'm playing? You think I want an L.A. girl fixing my grits? Is you crazy? Of course I'm serious. This water getting deep, huh? I mean, we can't take no prisoners, nigga. All right. Man, shut up, man. Pee Wee, you on a big man. You got me? Stop, stop. Man, you stop thinking, nigga. That's what get you hurt. You got this? I got this. Man, well, let's roll with it, man. Take you in. Man, you got that. Man, I got that, man. Miss Mayor. Chief. Miss Mayor. Captain. 
All right, where do we stand? We have successfully narrowed the killing field down to a seven square mile radius. We feel that with the help of the extra DEA agents, we can contain the killing within that area and see a dramatic drop within about four months or so. Away from the French Quarter and the Garden District? Oh, yes. We do not want the tourist areas or the upscale communities to be affected, sir. Upscale communities? So just let the niggers kill themselves in their own backyard, huh? That is not what I'm saying. What are you saying, Captain? We are trying to contain those that kill from those that don't. Who authorizes this approach? Because I don't like it, not at all. If we're gonna beat this, we're gonna do it as a city united. With all due respect, Mayor, I disagree. Then you can hand in your resignation. <laughs> Excuse me? Chief! You done pissed the mayor off and got yourself fired. What do you want me to do? You want it, Twizzler? At least you can walk out of here with a sweet taste in your mouth. I thought we were trying to make a difference. Fine. You go down with the city. See if I care. Revenge is sweet. Ain't it, though? Don't get too comfortable, Chief. If all this happened on your watch, you could be next. Get your department in order. <coughs> Were you really serious last night? About what? About you and me going to California or Chicago. It's just that every time I turn the TV on, I'm just so scared on the news that the next person murdered is going to be you. You just don't understand. I can see that guy killing Slinky plain as day. You ain't got nothing to worry about. I got you. I'm just afraid for you. You have such a good heart. You just lost your way. Maybe I did lose my way. All those years chasing hoes, cars, money. It never satisfies. I'm in too deep. Now Damien's dead. I gotta make a move. Carmilla, I just don't want the next person to be you. I mean, you just gotta get out of here. There is nothing in New Orleans for you. Maybe you're right. You're a smart girl, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Not too smart. Look what happened, me hanging out at the wrong place at the wrong time. You still coming with me? First, I'm gonna make you some breakfast. You sound like my mom. <laughs> Always trying to fatten me up. Well, mama knows how about that. I'm about to make you some grits and eggs that no California girl could top. All right. But first, I need you to do something for me. Hmm. Come on. Damn. You got to get back to work. You need to relax. Relax? Rita, I told Nick I wouldn't do this shit again. Let's get out of here. We don't have to go. I'm not going to say anything. This should not have happened. Just come on, get dressed. Let's go. Oh, man. Hey, come on, Rita. Oh. 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 Oh, shit. Are you hit? Are you hit? Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh. Hold tight. I'm going to go pull back up. This is Detective Bathgate. We got an officer down. One away. We got a one away. Fucker shot me. Keep pressure. Damn. They're on their way. Just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Keep moving. Better be good. Got me out of my office. We got one minute. 
Got you on tape selling heroin to a minor. Lucky we don't haul your ass in right now. Man, chill out. I'm gonna tell you like this. Tonk got prop. You know that's my man, everything. We started out together. But he losing me. I'm talking about touching Carmelo like in the old days. I just want some peace. Save the bullshit about peace. We know you commit murders for Tonk. I don't know who told you that. That's a bookkeeper. <laughs> You're wasting my time. Come here. Wait a minute. As he had already the sense. We know he did it and they want him off the streets. He preparing secret indictments and shit. Who knows this? One of y'all bitches from the clerk of court office began to put it to my man. We know the grand jury meets and everything. Who's she? I don't know, but I'll get back to you. Hey, you tell your little homies, they dare touch one of my agents. All hell's gonna break loose out here. You're gonna be able to sell dime back on the street. You got me? You preaching to a choir. I love the police. I would never hurt one of my civil servants. Fuck you. You're gonna testify against Tom, or you go straight to jail and don't pass go. Mm -hmm. keep, keep giving us the info. We'll leave you on the streets indefinitely. I'll keep it coming, but just don't be harassing me. Keep it coming. Yeah, I will. Okay, now, stop. Get on the job. We were supposed to be in a meeting, remember? Oh, I know. We're discussing very, very important business. We'll discuss your kind of business later when we're off the clock. And my boss isn't in the next office. Yeah, no fun. Do you know what I'm thinking, Clinton? You never get laid when you get paid. <sighs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited about the Williams case. You got a great informant, Pee Wee. He was actually gunman behind one of the killings. And and he's still running the streets. Well, unfortunately, in order to stop the killing, we got to make deals with the devil. You know, I'm re I'm really not in love with that. If he's a killer, he should be off the streets. Don't tell me how to do my job. I need a conviction over here. At the expense of another life. You know, you won't be satisfied until some poor little black girl gets killed on a playground. Just let your killer run free so you can get the headline as long as he's only killing blacks. Don't you play that race card with me. Well, tell me something straight here. Do you want to do something good here or do you just want a salary bonus or a promotion? We have an obligation to protect those citizens. This isn't a game. This isn't about a promotion. People are dying out there and you can't afford to turn your nose up at anybody. Because let me tell you something, counselor. One of these days, it might wind up in your own backyard. You know what? You're just like your father. You can't save the world, you idiot. You know, by the way, sex was all that. Yo, whoa, man. Who wants something, man? What's up, Billy? What's that? Chill, chill. What's up with you? You know, what's happening with you? What the fuck is this, man? Oh man, police riding day and night, can't make a move. Man, I'm not trying to do shit, man. I'm coming right with you, bro. You gotta come right, man. What the fuck this is, man? You're on the right, man. Man, look, bro, get the fuck on, man. Fuck boy. Man, boy. Yeah. hell are you still doing here? Chief, listen to me. We just got word kulan has been shot. He's en route to the hospital. God damn it, this is getting out of control. Chief, the DEA agents aren't cutting it. We need 50 new officers assigned to the killing fields right now. Shit. You know what? I think you're right. We can work something out with the mayor later on. Welcome back to the force. What is this in here about cops getting shot? I thought I told you to get out of here. Mr. Mayor, he's the best cop I got on the force. You tell your detectives, all of them, if they see a known killer on the street, you bring him in. I don't give a shit what the feds say. You bring him in, you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Sir. Mayor, we're doing every... 
taking him in. Then you do your goddamn job. You sorry bastard. I know what you're doing. Promise. You promise. When you get here, the family you don't care about won't be here. I'll be gone. I just want to thank you for watching over me and Mary on our new life together. And I just want to ask you to help me to end some of this pain and misery that I've been a part of. Mary. Mm. I just want to thank you. Oh, baby. With all due respect, Mayor Patio is loved by the residents of this city. Now, how do you plan to beat him? He has a great name in the city, but let's face it, he's not its father. It's time for someone to be in office to make the necessary changes. Yes, ma'am. What do you plan to do to decrease the sky-high murder rate? Add more cops to the street, enforce the laws, prosecute these hoodlums, and lock them up for life. Councilman Draw. Yes, ma'am. I would yeah. fuck a snake if he on his mouth right. Yeah. She gonna make me. What you think I'm bringing you this up, man? I'm talking about. You got enough? Yeah. shit, man. Damn it, man. Thank you. 
I figured he would last longer than Carmelo. This does not go unappreciated. It's good to be appreciated. Hope the dog appreciates it. Oh, he does. There's too much bad blood and not enough business. I told them motherfuckers they don't listen to me. I figured they might listen to you. This is for your time. Appreciate it. Let him in. Man, I don't like that fool, man. You're not supposed to like him. But I spent enough money on you, motherfucker. And I hope you can handle this. If you can't do this job, you better let me know right now. I got this. I got this. I can do a good tongue. I can believe it was doing cheaper, move more ships, and no blood. Good, good. You're the new face of a new generation. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming. I know that it's been a rough couple of months, but I can assure you that we are doing and have done everything within our power to make sure that our streets are safe as possible for our citizens. I've asked Chief Police Newsom to join us here today, along with other law enforcement officials. And we are very pleased to announce that due to recent police reports, we are fully confident that we will see a dramatic drop in violent crime by the end of this month. We are working day and night to clean up our streets. 
Now, this is a warning for all the wannabe gangsters. You can be a gangster if you want to. But not in my city. Not in our city. at this time. The statement will be released to City Hall before the end of today's news cycle. The city has a weird spirit on it. Angry spirit. We ain't got no choice but to fight. Fight to survive. Fight poverty. But like I said before, it's that first chase. That very first chase. That'll keep you coming back. Uh. I thought I told you I was sofa, but you didn't believe me. Spit songs in the key or rice like I was TV. Wondering why the thundering won't stop. A hundred and something songs. I feel like But I just live my life and try to live like Christ So little kids will grow up and want to be like Christ So the streets gotta feel this Never wanted millions, I wanted real to try to raise uh, the so. realness I'll call you later the boy still earning his wings and learning life to the fullest You know, I just want this. to know it's not the time You never know how many people's life you affect when you're on the grind. When you hear that voice telling you, you gotta come up no matter what. You gotta get your money no matter what. That's why I pay my respects to you, Carmelo. See, I know where you're coming from. To me and you, we're not like regular people. Nah. They don't make them like us no more. But from here on out, the war is over. It's over, baby. Rest in peace. You're truly dark. Up. The niggas be trippin', niggas be slippin', niggas come through and bust out like Scottie Pippen If you listen, these streets, it ain't nowhere to play, it ain't nowhere to stay, nigga, bust all the game no. Get your guns up! The niggas be trippin', niggas be slippin', niggas come through and bust out like Scottie Pippen If you listen, these streets, it ain't nowhere to play, it ain't nowhere to stay, nigga, bust all the game Niggas, no. they wanna live that high life, but live high and get by, but I bet that you die, fuck or die, y'all creep off on the side Look you dead in your eye, then let you have it Look at this bitch, my book of cause of the sand So hard, I grabbed it, left from slump, drained in this fabric You stupid bitch, you should have been on point, game like a rabbit Have you ever seen the damage of a black tie that close brain? The slump in your brain with no witness to explain, it's a damn shame Who nigga to lose his life for something petty like Fetty And after the wake, I heart your family drink like Freddy Y'all ain't ready for a nigga of my kind from that nine blowing minds Ain't gon' forgive me, tell it across my spine, it's time to shine And then the one thing now, book is shot, pop like corn, that's like a shoe spring Tied up and not on that dope, tryna plot, I get your box and stuff I'm coming when you need suspect, so nigga, keep your guns up Get your guns up